Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In today's video, we will be discussing the average true range or ATR, technical indicator used in the stock market. In this video, first I will talk about the concept or the theory or the calculations behind the ATR. And then for the second half of the video, I will talk about how you can use our template, which is free to download from Inzara.com, how you can use the template to calculate the ATR for any stock that you're interested in, all within Excel. So what we have on screen is the history of price information for a random stock. And I have the dates, the trading date, the high, low, and the closing price for that stock. And according to the calculations of ATR, we have to calculate these three individual calculations first. This one is nothing but high minus low. So take the high price for a day, subtract the low price, that is your high minus low. That's your first calculation. The second one will be high minus previous day close. So we take today's high minus previous day's closing price, and that is the second calculation. The third one is we take the low and then subtract the previous close, and we get the low minus previous close. And you would have noticed that in both of these calculations, I'm doing an absolute function because we are only interested in the absolute difference. Uh, so we don't care about which is greater. We just care about the absolute difference between the values there. So now once we have calculated these three individual calculations, we can calculate the true range. The true range is nothing but the maximum of the previous three calculations that we made. So again, we're just trying to find out the volatility of the price. And then we are picking the maximum indicator of volatility from these three sub calculations. So that is our true range. Now we calculate the true range for every single day. And that's what I've done here. And once we have done it here, then if we want to calculate an average for any single day, we would have to take a simple moving average of 14 periods. So what I have calculated here, average true range of 4.61 is nothing but a simple moving average of 14 periods. So you can see the highlighted in purple. So those are the 14 data points. And when I take an average, simple average of those 14 points, then I get the average true range for this stock on April 15th is 4.61. So this is how we calculate the average true range or ATR technical indicator. Now let's go and see how this calculation or the calculated indicator value can be displayed on a price chart or in our template. So for the second half of the video, let's go to the average true range sheet, which is where we have the automatically calculated ATR line. So what you see on screen is the orange line is the ATR or the calculation that we talked about. The blue line is the closing price for the stock every single day. Okay, so now how do you use this template? So first step is go to the cell on the top left here where it says Microsoft Corporation. We'll just go and type in another, um, you know, stock ticker symbol. So I typed in XNAS. And that's because that's the NASDAQ stock exchange abbreviation. If you are trying to use this template for any other exchange um, stock symbols, please put in that exchange um, abbreviation. In one of our previous videos where we talked about the stocks data type, we went um, in depth into how you can enter this and how you can, you know, search and find the stock symbol you're interested in. So please refer to that video uh, if you are new to this. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and type in AAPL for Apple. And you will see that within a couple of seconds. Now we have the data coming from the service live service, which pulls in the data and says this is the closing price of Apple every single day. That's the blue line and the orange line indicates the ATR or the average true range. So everything is automatically done. Now you also have some more controls here. So you can see here the um, the time period. So I'm looking at six month history here. If I want to look at year to date, I can just click on YTD. If I want to look at for the last 
whole year um, then 365 days or so 366 days then I can see it here and I can also control the time um, interval so instead of looking at daily price can I look at weekly I can also look at monthly so this is how so easy for you to analyze the stock in many different ways and also as I was explaining the calculation of the ATR one of the parameters is that how many periods do you actually have to go back and calculate the moving average and by default 14 is the commonly used one so we have added 14 but if you want to change it you can still change it by just typing in 20 and now you see that the ATR line automatically changed so I'm going to put it back to the default 14 so no problem the other thing is that the 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 source is the closing price that's listed that is being displayed in blue but if i want if you want to display the low price or if you want to display the high price you can see that it automatically updates this does not affect the calculation of the atr you saw that the, only the blue line changed the orange line did not change and that's because the ATR calculation does not depend on what we choose as a source here. The ATR calculation will be always based on these calculations that we talked about and you cannot modify what are the inputs to that. The only thing you can change is how many time periods the moving average should be based on. Instead of 14, you can type in something else. So once you have actually calculated the price and everything is displayed and let's say in a few seconds or a few minutes you want to refresh the data again you just go to data and click on refresh all now excel will go and pull the data from the market and then display again um, since this is i'm recording it during a weekend the market is closed and i don't you know see any changes in the price but if you're doing it during the time when the market is open then you will see that the data get updated quickly um, you will see the price, current price of the stock. You'll see the change. Um, so all of that information automatically updates within one or two seconds as soon as you type in the stock symbol on the top left. If you have not watched any of our previous videos, please go back and uh, look at the playlist, which we will provide a link in the video description below. This is our video number 21 uh, in this month where we do a video every day with a new Excel template for stock market. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. And if you find it, uh, the information useful, please share with your friends. I will see you all tomorrow in another video about another template for Excel for stock market. Thank you very much for watching.